Well, hello, everyone. This is, uh, I think, Wednesday, May the 27th, that we're doing the pastor's update this week. And I brought along with me uh, Jesus over here and uh, one, another one of the sheep right here. Uh, we're in the sanctuary of the worship place in Sun City and bringing you the latest good news from the worship place family. I trust that you enjoyed your Memorial Day weekend. Coletti and I traveled to Baytown, Texas to see our, our children, grandchildren, our child, uh, son-in-law and grandchildren, and we had a wonderful time with them. Uh, we were there Sunday uh, afternoon and Monday morning. I woke up Monday morning, Memorial Day, uh, to a little voice of a, I think, five, five-year-old little girl saying, Papa, I love you. <laughs> it doesn't get much better than that. Uh, well worth the trip, even if you have to go through Houston to get there. Um, but the day off on Memorial Day played a bit of uh, havoc on our recording schedule, so uh, we're jumping through all kind of hoops to get our recordings done so that we can have Wednesday evening Bible study and Sunday service prepared for our virtual time of Bible study and worship. A couple of things I need to share with you. Uh, first of all, uh, Pastor Maury is uh, preaching this weekend. It's Pentecost Sunday, and so we celebrate the fact that Jesus went up and the Holy Spirit came down and the church went out. And indeed, we are out there in the world right now. Uh, we may not be gathering physically, but we are continuing to fulfill the mission that God gave us to go into all the world and tell the good news. Um, I have uh, been making a few phone calls to folks and see, just checking to see how they're doing. And without exception, uh, when I call people and talk to them, the, they're going to ask me the question, um, any thoughts on when we're going to get back together again? And uh, I, I have some news for you regarding that. Um, but first of all, uh, Pentecost Sunday. And uh, remember that this is the fifth Sunday of the month. So that means... Some of you would uh, traditionally um, also give to the caring place. Uh, we are not receiving um, food contributions, but if you'd like to give to the caring place uh, through the worship place, then uh, do, do like you have done in the past, or if you've not done it before, just make out a check to the caring place. We collect those and uh, then send them on to the caring place if you'd like to do that with your regular uh, tithes and offerings. Um, that, that is on the uh, first Sunday. Uh, this is the fifth Sunday. That means, um, that means someone has prepared a concert for us. Uh, this uh, fifth Sunday is going to be a virtual concert, and the uh, Few Good Men Quartet are going to uh, prepare a, a concert for us. We, in fact, we've been recording uh, for a few weeks and we will use um, some that we've recorded before, I think three or four songs. And then we'll also have um, a number of new songs that we've done. That will be uh, on Facebook and YouTube um, Sunday evening, 6 o'clock. So ho hope you can join us for that. It'll be there beyond that, so you can uh, watch it later if you'd like. Also know that uh, one of the things we hope to do with this concert is to make DVDs, CDs, and flash drives uh, like we did with the, the concert that I, I did and recorded and then people donated to the building fund to pay off our debt. Uh, so we're going to do the same thing with this uh, concert. We're going to make recordings of it and make it available to you uh, in, a, in a few weeks. So uh, watch it there on uh, Facebook or YouTube and then uh, look forward to getting a copy of it later for your, your use. Um, so as I said, uh, this is the fifth Sunday, May the 31st coming up. Pastor Maury preaching uh, on the character of Christ and talking about um, uh, patience, I think it is, and uh, coming from Job. And then the first Sunday uh, is um, coming up quickly, June the 7th, and we'll have communion. So go ahead and get your, your juice and crackers or whatever you want to use for communion and, uh, and your Caring Place connection, uh, collection for that as well. Um, I think uh, the last thing to talk about is the, the fact that we sent out a survey to you. Um, this is Wednesday, so it would be yesterday, last evening, we sent out a survey and uh, didn't go out, I think, till about uh, five or six o'clock. 
And yet this morning when I came into the office at 9 o'clock, uh, the report was that uh, nearly 400 people had responded to that survey already. Haven't seen the results of the survey, what you are sh telling us, but we will use that information that you give us from the survey uh, to, to decide how we move forward with uh, beginning to gather again. Uh, I anticipate that we will begin with uh, small groups gathering, uh, you know, committees and, and uh, maybe small groups, uh, ministry teams and such, and then uh, eventually to work toward our family gathering for worship in the, in the near future. Uh, so pray for us uh, for wisdom and discernment uh, to understand how best to uh, take good care that is the, the safety and health of our church family, as well as being able to get back together. Because I, I know many of you are chomping at the bits to get back together to worship in, in person. So we'll, we'll work toward that as um, safely and as promptly as we can. Uh, those are the good things happening this week. Uh, we're finishing up the month of May just real fast. And uh, June will be upon us, and we will... Uh, look forward to some great times together. Um, things happening in June are uh, Father's Day coming up, so don't forget to, um, well, something's going to be different this time. You know, typically the main thing people do on Father's Day is uh, take their fathers to lunch and let them pay for it. So um, something will may be different this year given the pandemic, but we'll wait and see. A lot of good things happening. God is good all the time. And uh, I'd like to end this uh, update with a prayer for our church family. Come join me as we bow before the Lord. Father God, we are thankful for Jesus and the fact that you gave your only begotten son, uh, came to us by way of Mary and the Holy Spirit, lived among us, taught us, uh, died for us, ascended again into heaven, and certainly coming again. And in the interim, uh, you gave us your Holy Spirit who dwells in us even now. So, Father, thank you for Pentecost. Thank you for the, um, the reminder each year that you sent your Spirit to dwell in us, to empower us, to enable us to carry out the mission that you've given us, uh, to enable us to be your children. So thank you, Father, for your Spirit. Uh, thank you, Father, too, for your blessings during these uh, challenging and uncertain days. And Lord, I, I want to lift up those of our family that are struggling right now. Many of us are doing just fine, but yet there are others. I, I know some who are struggling with uh, grief. And so, Father, I pray your, your Holy Spirit might bring peace and comfort. And I know, too, Father, that there's several, many in our church family that are struggling with health issues. Lord, I pray for those who are uh, even right now recovering from surgery. Uh, those who are uh, preparing and maybe a bit anxious about upcoming surgeries and treatments. Lord, I want to pray specifically for those who are battling cancer. I pray, Father, for all these doctors and nurses and, and uh, scientists who are uh, working toward cures and treatments. And pray, Lord, that uh, you guide them in their, their work. But I pray, Father, for those who are um, enduring cancer right now. Lord, would you give them victory, give them health. We pray, Lord, for those who love them and care for them and ask, Lord, your peace and patience in their lives. And Father, we pray too for those who are struggling with other kinds of difficulties in life. Lord, would you continue to guide all of us in making wise decisions, in dealing with the things that frustrate us and upset us and and cause us to get anxious, Lord. Just give us your peace and wisdom through your Holy Spirit. And Lord, too, we pray for all of us who uh, have opened our hearts to, to your grace, who've responded, who've said yes, uh, who call ourselves Christians, that we might be reminded by your Holy Spirit each day that uh, we are your children and that we have the privilege and the power to go out and tell the world that Jesus is alive and well and that he is the savior of the world. Father, thank you again for the Worship Place family. I not only lift these up to you, these sheep, but Lord, all the world, all the pastors, and chaplains, and folks who are, um, who are under shepherds, Lord, would you bless them? 
I pray, Lord, for our president and all those who serve in um, government positions, Lord, that you use them to help us as Americans and uh, us as human beings all around the world to live together in such a way that we work we work for a better world for everyone. Lord, thank you again for your many, many blessings. We sing your praise, Lord, for you are worthy. And we offer this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you and look forward to seeing you again next week for the Pastor's Update. Bye now.